flip chart. When it comes to the flip chart, don't be afraid to use it. But there are some key pieces of advice to using it effectively. The biggest mistake people make when they're using the flip chart is they get up to the flip chart before having thought about what's going on that page. And what happens is that they then let the parties determine what goes up there. But the parties' lawyers tend to take charge at this point. I've seen it so many times. So when you're the mediator, only go to the flip chart when you are pretty clear in your own mind what the key issues are, and your job is to go up there and summarize them on that flip chart. The second mistake I see people make using the flip chart is pens. They don't check to see if there's enough ink in the pens. And then you end up with this horribly uncomfortable moment when the mediator's fiddling around, taking the tops off, seeing which pen, and it's always the yellow pen that they end up using, which is terrible. Make sure you've got a black, blue, red, and a green pen, fully locked and loaded, ready to go. And the third piece of advice when you're using the flip chart, on every page, make sure there's a title and a page number. Because when you are producing lots of pages and you're towards the end of the day trying to sort it all out, you need to understand what comes in what order. And it's always much easier if every page has a title and a page number.